Ugly. Ugly stories about ugly educrats teaching people in very, uh, treating people in very ugly, ugly ways. Let's take a look at Instant Classics where we're going to try to insert a little beauty amidst all of that ugly, a way of uh, coming back to reality and going back to some biblical truth, some real education. Uh, I, should I haven't done this uh, a lot in, in Peter Paul Rubin's week, and so let me do it a little bit here at this moment. Uh, he, it, for those of you who don't know very well the periods we're talking about, Rubens was born in 1577, died in 1640. This is the heart of the Baroque period, the Counter-Reformation in Europe. Uh, he was a Flemish artist and a diplomat for the Duchy of Brabant in the Southern Netherlands, modern-day Belgium. He is considered one of the most influential artists of the Flemish Baroque tradition. His highly charged positions as his canvases reference erudite aspects of classical and Christian history. So he's a true Renaissance man. His work goes back to the classics and it goes back to the Bible. We saw yesterday in the painting The Three Graces, which goes back all the way to the Greek classics. Now we're going to look at a picture called Samson and Delilah taken from the Bible, right? This is a great story. Reuben, Reuben's here in this picture portrays the very moment when Samson, the Nazarite, God's chosen hero, has fallen asleep on Delilah's lap. And Samson had been warned multiple times that foreign women women who believed in gods other than the one God of Israel, that that was going to be the death of Samson. And there he is. He cannot. Uh, she was a Philistine. He was a, a, a Nazarite Jew. This was never going to work. And so uh, you're showed here by Rubens the moment of betrayal. Delilah, Samson has fallen across Delilah's lap. The implication is, is that sex has occurred, right? This is the drowsy moments after sex. She still has, is, has not fully dressed D Delilah, and he's passed out from drink, a combination of drink and sex. And at that moment, she summons in the, the, the betrayer. Notice how the man cutting uh, Samson's hair has his arms, his hands crossed. That's a sign of betrayal. Notice that in the, in the hallway on the right, you see other soldiers when he has lost his power. You may remember from the story of Samson, all of his powers, physical prowess, was contained in his hair. And that when that hair would, would be cropped or cut, his power would wane too. So she has uh, basically gotten Samson drunk. He didn't need a lot of help. Uh, a moment of carnal delight. He's sleeping like a child. Stre this monster of a man stretched across her lap. And now the, the Philistines are shaving him, cutting his hair, taking away his power. They're about to enslave him. Uh, and and it's, it's a morality play, too. If you look at the face of Delilah and look at the face of the old crone standing right above her, she's a prop procuress. She's most likely a pimp. She's a woman, uh, a, 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 a whorehouse madam who oversees these kinds of, of transactions. So Rubens is trying to suggest to you that this is an act of whoredom. It's not even just a relationship between two consenting adults. But if you look carefully at the face of Delilah and look carefully at the face of the pimp, the procuress, you will see that she, the older woman, looks a lot like Delilah older in life. One wonders if this is the morality play, right? That for all of Delilah's beauty and her moment of triumph here, her future is very, very questionable to have done what she did to one of the Lord's anointed. 